back to It Gets Real, where I talk about a real life issue or problem that teenagers often have in my pajamas. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so happy to be here right now. Like, I cannot wait for today's episode. My straps are gonna be falling down a lot. This top is so, I don't even know, but if I pull it down more to make the straps fit, then it's just too big. But it's a really cute top anyway, so I'm just gonna, you're just gonna have to deal with it. So today, I'm talking about hate. First, let me show you my pajamas, though. That didn't flow very well, but that's okay. So I'm wearing this little crop top from Shein, which is like a cheap Well, I actually bought it from wrong way, but then it came as a Shein product. So that's really fun And then I'm wearing these sweatpants from me and you since super pajamas But these are the type of pajamas that I put on when I want to feel productive because they're still cute and I still feel good So yes today we are talking about the dreaded hate comments. So first of all, my opinion on hate comments. Hate comments are very unnecessary, obviously, but I think hate comments just come from people who are really hurting or something's not going right in their life. So anytime I see a hate comment, my first reaction is obviously defensive because that's like any human nature reaction. Kind of just feel sorry for them and at least I really try to feel sorry for them because I know that people who hate are just people who don't have enough interesting things going on in their own life and they have to hate on someone else's. So just a little disclaimer, I'm sorry if I offend anybody. Let's get straight on with the video. The main piece, little comment of hate comments that I get is always, you act too old for your age. I've talked about this before and I feel like this one I don't get heated about anymore. I literally could not care less. So you act too old for your age. I understand that. And anytime I meet somebody, they always think I'm like 15 or 16. And I'm like, no, I'm 13, even though I just turned 13. People People are always really shocked. I've always been an older soul, right? When I was little, I didn't play with toys. I wanted to like play real games. Like I played like office. I played businessy games with my f sisters. And obviously sometimes we played like spies and Barbies, but that's cause that's what they wanted to do. And it's not just that. It's not like I wanted to be cool or whatever. I'm just an older soul. If you've ever met me in real life, you know that I just act older than I actually am. And I'm not purposely doing it. It's just how I am. Like if you see someone acting really young for their age, they're not trying to do that. Either people are gonna not like me for that or they're gonna like me for that. So I understand that people can get offended by that because they feel like I'm trying to be older or somebody else or I don't really know why it bothers people so much But if you don't like my personality I really just want you to like click off my videos or don't like my Instagram photos or don't even follow me Sometimes I'll look at a hate comment and they're following me and I'm like, thanks boo You're following me and it's actually really funny another hate comment I always get is you wear too much makeup I know that I'm naturally beautiful all by myself and so is every single human no one needs makeup I love makeup because I think it is so fun. I like to wear obviously on like natural days I just wear like eyebrows and mascara right now. I'm wearing no makeup and I know that I don't look bad But I love to do makeup because I love I just love to put it on even if I'm only wearing like concealer and bronzer And like that's pretty much it. I love to put makeup on it is so much fun for me It's like painting I understand why people comment you wear too much makeup because a lot of people aren't allowed to wear makeup So it probably bothers them that I'm only 13 and I'm allowed to wear as much makeup as I want but That's also because I get like PR and we don't want to waste the PR packages that people give me and I also give some PR our packages away. I've given so much makeup away to my friends and, and we have a whole box that I'm giving to cancer students, not students, patients. That comment doesn't really bother me either because it's easy to justify. It's like, well, most people can't wear makeup and I'm just gonna keep wearing makeup that I want and because I know that I'm pretty without makeup and I know that every single human on this earth is pretty without makeup. So then the next comment, she shouldn't have a boyfriend or she's too young to have a boyfriend. This is like one of the comments that really frustrates me. Ah, you know what I mean? Like, it's just one of those things I'm just like, oh my gosh. So, um, first of all, I'm not just gonna, like, straight up defend myself. Um, because that would be just a video of basically me just being like, oh my gosh, ah, I don't deserve this hate. Because everyone's gonna get hate, especially if you're on social media. This comment makes me upset because it's the same as the makeup. A lot of kids aren't allowed to date till they're like 18 or whatever and I think you should 100% follow by your parents rules obviously my parents just don't have rules like that I'm not trying to shade anyone or be um, offensive to anybody I'm just simply stating what we kind of believe in my house is like everyone needs to go through relationships 
they have to go through love and just like the whole experience is such a huge portion of life. If you wait till you're 18 to fall in love, you're not going to know what to do. And when you're 18, it's kind of close to 20 and then you start thinking about who you're going to marry and maybe not. A lot of people have it differently. I just know that that's kind of how I'm going to probably do it. I just think, why not live life and even if everything doesn't work out, you learn from it and you grow. There's nothing, you can't just put a rule on someone and say you can't date till you're 18 or can't fall in love or whatever whatever the rules are until you're 18 because I'm gonna avoid you from heartbreak or from suffering but like you have to suffer you have to have heartbreaks or maybe not maybe you found the love of your life at, at like 13 years old but you have to live you know so you can have first of all experience you can just live a full life because you could die before 18 I know that sounds crazy and you're like no there's no way but I mean you could like do you want to never fall in love but obviously I'm not saying that that 13 years Year old should be allowed to do anything they want like drink alcohol and all this type of stuff obviously those are forbidden basically what I'm trying to say is for me I don't want to wait and I don't want to like not live my life because who knows what could happen to me like I want to live like I'm going to not be here tomorrow I'm just trying to have fun you know live life to the fullest and be happy and be positive and obviously I'm going to try to make the right the strongest rightest decisions when it comes to my life but that's never going to happen you're never going to make the perfect decision that's going to avoid you from heartbreak suffering sad moments like the, all those things are going to happen even if you have rules in your family like no dating but please respect your parents i'm just kind of stating like why that comment those type of comments really frustrate me because everyone has different rules in their families everyone does different ways of life some people are homeschooled some people go to public school but nobody gets hated on for that so why should i get hated on for dating at a young age i'm also homeschooled by the way i just think that like People shouldn't hate in general because everyone has different rules. Everyone has a different, completely different life. I think that I should be able to live mine and you guys should be able to live yours. If you want to grow up and not date till you're 18, go ahead and do that. But you shouldn't hate on me for wanting to live younger. Another comment I get is, why do you always copy Annie LeBlanc? Now, I'm going to save that for a whole different video because you guys were on Instagram at the time. Kind of a scandal happened. It was really weird. And I don't even know like how it happened, but but I'm going to be talking about that probably in another video Just because that's a whole subject on its own and I don't want to sound like I'm just completely defending myself in this video And I'm just like no, um, uh Moral of the story, I am gonna be older. I'm not acting older. I just am and I'm not trying to be like oh I'm so old and mature I mean obviously I have my moments like with my friends what is my hair doing I naturally love coffee I'm not just doing it to be older I love getting my nails done because it gives me confidence I'm not just doing it to act older I'm gonna wear makeup because it is so much fun for me it's like art but I'm also gonna take pictures of me without makeup because that's just how I want to do it I want to show you guys my glam I want to show you guys my reel but that's why I have vlogs on here and I have like my fashion -y videos I have a balance of both which is what I really love about my channel and yeah I'm going to date who I'm gonna date and I'm gonna do it at whatever age Obviously there should be a limit like maybe like seven years old or something I don't really know but my family just never really decided to have an official date of when you should or should not date somebody I'm sorry if I offend any of you guys. I'm really truly not trying to offend anyone. I'm just trying to um, Show you guys into my world and my my family rules I guess someone's gonna get hate no matter what so I just choose to not let it sink in So I encourage you guys to do that too if you are getting bullied if you are getting online hate if you're an influencer Or if you're just a normal kid I encourage you to just shake it off because haters are gonna hate anyways and just feel sorry th for them and maybe Maybe try to be really kind for them. Maybe buy them a cake, you know? <laughs> like, anyone needs a cake. I love you guys so much, and thanks for watching this video. And I'll see y'all in tomorrow's video and on my next It Gets Real, which I post every Thursday.